musical is not only a well-known staple of Smithton High School West's school culture, but also a fun after-school activity that incorporates all grade levels. It has taken about three months from start to finish to create the sets, cast the actors, and prepare the lines. Let's hear what Miss Seattle, the director, has to say about the musical. I think the play of Hello Dolly is amazing, it's creative, it's innovative, and the best part of the whole deal is that you have all kinds of kids as part of it. Everybody from special education, life skills, right up to the advanced placement classes. And there's no other content area, and there's nothing else we do in this school that encompasses all children. The students in the production grow together, and cooperation is especially important during what is known as Hell Week. Hell Week is also known as Tech Week, which is pretty much when we go through every individual part of the show and break it apart so that we can work along with the stage crew and production parts such as lighting and sound. So right now we are currently going to work a lot on sound because we're getting different microphones than we had yesterday. How is it today doing all these previews? It was fun. It, it's very vocally demanding because obviously there are a lot of songs that you know I'm singing and then I'm afraid to lose my voice but what I generally do is just when we don't have previews I just don't speak or sing. <laughs> Hello Dolly, a play about a matchmaker, came together quite nicely, even though there was a lot of chaos during rehearsals. Extra hard work had to be put in as rehearsals ran late into the night, sometimes even as late as 10 o'clock. With the combined efforts of the students, teachers, and audience, Hello Dolly was a major success. Today, Smithtown High School West is putting on a production known as Shakespeareans, where they bring to life the writings, the activities, and the drama that all existed during Shakespeare's life. All right, hey guys, do you guys know why we're here today? Anybody? <laughs> For Shakespeare's birthday? Yes! Yeah, thank you know you. how old he is? 448. Very nice, my friend. So we're celebrating Shakespeare's birthday, and we're going to teach you a little bit about Shakespeare and Queen Elizabeth I. What is it like bringing the writings of Shakespeare to life? Bringing the writings of Shakespeare to life is essential for the education of high school students to really get a grasp of the language, to see the drama, the comedy, to experience the life and times here at the Shakespeare Festival. It's a, an important part of your education. Thou churlish, empty-hearted dogfish! Thou sottest, paper-faced rampallion! Thou lewd, ill-nurtured Thou one-muzzled, wrong-headed <laughs> ruffian! How long does it take to prepare for the Shakespearean? Uh, it took us about a month total to prepare for this. Um, we had to get all the sets ready and stuff like that, and that took us about three weeks. We had a set designer come in, teach us how to do that stuff. Then we had to figure out how we were setting up the auditorium, how we were doing the other booths. We had to get everyone to practice and stuff like that. So it was a lot of work, but today was a lot of fun, so it was worth it. Smithtown West was visited by a bunch of Korean dignitaries, and I got the I got the privilege of following them around. And I was a student ambassador and journalist, and it was a wonderful experience because I got to you know see their culture. And now Newsday wants to publish an article that me and my partner Tori have written about it, and it's just amazing that they even are thinking to do that. And I really hope they publish. It. What about Mike made him stand out to you as a possible recipient of this award? Michael has a tremendous work ethic. He brings it to practice every day. He's a very consistent competitor, and he also has it in the classroom. He's at the very top of his class. He has a very high SAT score, and uh, his work ethic is just outstanding. Congratulate and acknowledge you 
with this distinct honor be named one of our very first Foot Locker Scholar Athletes. You've been selected out of thousands of applicants for your incredible, incredible display of excellence in academics, sportsmanship, and leadership within the community. Through the years, Foot Locker has always been deeply committed to empowering the youth with unique educational and sports initiatives. And we know how important it is to help kids get a college education. And we hope this opportunity will help you continue to grow and develop your skills. We really respect all that you've already accomplished, and with your continued hard work, determination, and passion, we're confident you can continue to achieve any goal you set and fulfill all of your dreams. Because you epitomize the superior qualities and attributes that we set out to recognize in our scholarship program, we're very proud to name you one of only 20 inaugural Foot Locker Scholar Athletes. So on behalf of everyone at Foot Locker, I'd like to congratulate you for your extraordinary accomplishments. And you're going to be presented with a check of $20,000. And we wish you much success in all of your future endeavors. And best of luck in college. It was an amazing feeling. It really just, I knew that it was coming down to the next couple days I would find out, but I really didn't know it was going to be today. It was a shock, a surprise, but uh, it was amazing. I can't believe it. Two years in journalism, Mike. What is it like being in the class? Very fun. Definitely not like any other class I've had before. Kyle, what's your favorite part about taking this class? Well, I think the fav my favorite part is that Miss Donna lets us write about whatever we want to. We can take a sports uh, look or we can talk about something in the world today that matters to us. What do you like writing about or reporting about the most? Well, like I said, sports, like whatever the Yankees are doing or whatever Super Bowl happened then. You can write about it. You can have an opinion. It doesn't just have to be fact-based or anything. What's the class like when you walk in? What do you do? Um, Miss Donnelly, you just walk in. You kind of talk it out a little bit, see what you're doing for the day, and then you go on with what you want to do. And it's really laid back, and it's good. You get stuff done. Seems like a great class. It's <laughs>